Hey everyone, I want to make a quick video uh, to address how to create a PowerPoint presentation in regards to the expectations. As you may recall on the syllabus and on the quiz, uh, syllabus quiz I address how you can obtain a free um, copy of MS Office. Um, you just have to follow the links and download it. Remember that the school provides you free access to, to um, these programs and uh, both Word and Office, which we'll be using for this class. So the presentation, this is for uh, a women's history class. This is one that a student did a while back. And uh, I only want to provide a few uh, slides to kind of show you what the expectations are. So as you can kind of see, this one looks at um, the development of pop culture in New York in the 1900s. So the presentation should have bullet points. As you can kind of see here, um, this half of it compares the actual article. Um, over here, the student focuses on the time period that they were growing up to compare and contrast what they learned in history and you know what they experienced when they were growing up. So don't focus too much on this, but focus more on, on this part of the PowerPoint presentation here. As, in, as you can see, it has uh, kind of clear bullet points. It has major headings, some key years, some major concepts. Uh, if somebody was just to look at this presentation, they would not understand what this meant, right? So in, you need to provide an explanation of these concepts. So have the bullet points, but put your explanation down here. So how do you do that? Well, you go to notes and you click on notes. As you can kind of see there, right? It pops up when you click on it. And you provide your narrative there, right? Your explanation. So you're writing basically an essay explaining these bullet points. So it should be coherent, it should flow, it should be an explanation, right? A, a narrative, a story, if you will. Another thing that I want you to um, look at is that the student here provided um, citations. So it comes, you know, these examples come from specific pages from an article. You're probably using the book. And I want you to tell me where this information is coming from. So I want you to provide specific ex uh, examples that relate to whatever you're addressing here. You also see some of these pictures. These pictures relate specifically to the topic that's being addressed, right? Historically, they're accurate. These are pictures from the 1900s. This is addressing ragtime, popular music at the turn of the century. Um, over here, they're addressing their era. You can see they're addressing music from their era. So they have an album of this group along with um, Bill Clinton and what was happening with the economy at that time. So this is kind of like the gist of what I want you to produce, the quality of work that I want you to produce when you create your, your presentation, whether it's for um, this women's history class or for uh, History 100, which is ancient civilization or whatever course the assignment is for. All right. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a email and I'll be happy to explain any questions that you might have. Have a good day.